lot of interest now, of course, uh, in the first girl home, and that promises to be Greta Weitz of Norway, the world cross-country champion. The aim for her will be a new world best time inside at 2 hours 25 uh, minutes 29 seconds. That was set by Alison Rowe. And that car, by the way, should be leading the first girl runner. Greta Weitz, wearing number one, is there on the left of the picture. Pace for so long by her brother, Jan Anderson. But uh, he's some uh, two to three minutes slower than Greta, and uh, she dropped him at about 17 miles. The only marathon runner, I think, that would have been discovered by a 300-foot javelin thrower. Greg Terje Pedersen, the world's first 300-foot thrower, discovered Greta Anderson as a young 14-year-old girl in the village in which she lived and suggested she took up the sport. And what a favourite she is in Britain, and what a reception she's going to get. Now 29, she outranks in popularity and prestige most of the world's top male runners. The reigning world cross-country champion, five times the winner, four times in succession, and three times has broken the world marathon best for women. All in the New York Marathon. This is the first time we've attracted her here. We've been waiting for her to come, and she's going to get the most tremendous reception. Husband Jack, her coach and constant companion, he'll be waiting at the finish for her. And she's coached by a Czechoslovakian refugee who was a former decathlete, Edward Stobler. But the world uh, pays recognition to this girl. She's put uh, new boundaries to 5,000 metres, 10,000 metres, and marathon running. She's put women's marathon running on the map. And, uh, and if she gets that world record back from Alison Rowe, no one will begrudge her. Entry the last uh, mile now of the race. A uh, time uh, with a one mile, 385 yards to go, was almost dead on, two hours, 19 minutes. She's got about six minutes to uh, run these closing stages in to set a new world best. So from the unusual to the expected. Redovite's always the favorite for this race. She's had some knee trouble, by the way, after the World Cross Country Championship. But uh, she was telling me yesterday it hasn't affected her a great deal. It certainly hasn't affected her training. That's the second girl, and she's running way ahead of her best form, Mary O'Connor from New Zealand. Looking at both Greta Weitz and Mary O'Connor, you've got to realise that they're, they're running amongst some, of the, some good club runners in Britain. Some men who train, you know, 15, 17 miles a day, who run 100 miles a week or more, and who are considered in their own areas as being good club runners. Because 2.25 is an excellent time for the marathon. It just shows you how good she is, because I'm recognising some of the lads around her who are, uh, who are good distance runners. Uh, Greta Weitz looked to be well on target at halfway for a new world best time. But in fact, I suspect, although she seems to be going quite well in these closing stages, quite evenly, she has slowed. She's going to be very, very close to that time, but she's not exactly uh, in control at the moment because she's got to weave in and out of some of those runners who are getting in her way. And she's got some... She'd have to really get her head down and start pounding the last mile if she's going to be close to that world record. Birdcage walk. Just uh, a little... between a half a mile and three-quarters of a mile to go. Oh, the great thing for Greta Weitz is the reward that uh, women's marathon running is now being recognised at world level. And there is a race for them in the inaugural World Championships in Helsinki. And it's great, too, that she's recovering from... Her first ever bad season was last year. She had a bad year when she lost both the cross-country world championship. She lost to Marachicha Pu uh, Puicha and uh, lost her world marathon record time to Alison Rowe. Now, that time may still survive, but, uh, but no one would deny her that uh, at last her stage, her arena may well be in Helsinki and the Scandinavians will love it. She's uh, Norway's outstanding athlete and, uh, and if she go, when she goes to Helsinki she may well make that the last race of her tremendous career. She's certainly moving very well indeed, encouraged by the side of the finish. She's going to be very, very close, as she well knows, to that world best time. Meanwhile, not all the competitors moving so well as we join Bob Wilson. Well, 
so we're hoping to pick up uh, Bob Wilson, but uh, we can stay instead for a glimpse of one of the great marathon runners of all time, Ron Hill. This is his 70th marathon, Ron Hill, and uh, he's run the equivalent in racing terms of four times around the world. Now a vet, I think Ron's, what, 42, and his 70th marathon, uh, tremendous record, European Championships and Commonwealth Games, and another man that's been responsible for putting marathon running on the map. Spans a great career and rightly wears the number one. Ron Hill from Bolton. PhD, Dr. Ron Hill. He's a textile engineer, but really he ought to have a PhD for marathon running. He really is one of the most respected runners in the world. Still waiting for Greta Weitz to come within uh, sight of the finish. There's no doubt that the second girl, by the way, uh, Mary O'Connor, is going to run a very fast marathon indeed. She too, uh, O'Connor is now in birdcage walk. Now everyone waiting for the appearance of Greta Weitz, it will be channeled into a special fault at the finish of the ladies' race. It's going to be very close, but uh, she's got about a minute left in which to break Alison Rowe's world best time of two hours, 25 minutes, 29 seconds. She really knows exactly what she's doing. The clock is in sight. Reda, not only a great athlete, but a great student of long distance life. She's really striding up, full of uh, life. Two hours, 25 minutes, 29 seconds to beat for a new world best. She's got to be tantalizingly close. Comes across the road for the separate finish for the ladies. Been waved across into the finishing funnel. And is she going to break that top? Two hours, 25, 29 to beat. Oh, it's so close, and she knows it too. Ah, and after 26 miles, 385 yards, she's beaten the world best time by a single second.